more than half of Ghanaians say they are not aware of the upcoming December 17, 2019 referendum on whether local government elections should be made partisan or remain nonpartisan. A new Afrobarometer survey shows. Now, the CDD Afrobarometer indicated only 42% of Ghanaians are aware of the referendum, which is a month away and could impact the process negatively. The referendum seeks the opinion of Ghanaians as to whether local government elections should be opened to partisan political competition or not. The constitution requires a minimum 40% voter turnout for the referendum to be valid. There is a risk of a low turnout for this referendum since it will be conducted together with local government elections, which historically attracts less than 40% of registered voters. For the Electoral Commission, policymakers and civil society. These findings point to a need for intensified education. Only 42% of Ghanaians are aware of the December 2019 referendum on whether local government elections should be made partisan or remain non-partisan. The report indicates 55% of men are more likely to be aware of the referendum than women with 32%. For a referendum which is barely one month away, if people are not aware of it, this is a disaster. The Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, the National Commission for Civic Education, the Electoral Commission, and those of us in civil society organizations have not done a good job of awareness creation about this referendum. We haven't done a good job at all. Education should be intensified, targeting especially women, people in the informal sector, the urban population, the younger population. The education started just about six or just about three or so weeks ago, and it's been it's intensified this morning. I think all the radio stations are coming out with some education on the referendum. But then, even if you listen to the content of the discourse, I think it still goes back to the issue of electing MMDCs, and the real uh, argument in terms of the referendum is not being carried, whether political parties should be allowed to support candidates or not. 58% of Ghanaians say they will vote in the referendum. Nearly 60% of the people say that if it though they are not aware, they will vote. You know why it is good news? The thresholds for the referendum, you need 40% of all registered voters to turn out and 75% of them to vote yes before the referendum outcome can be valid. Fortunately, 60% of the people say they will vote. 55% of Ghanaians think the Electoral Commission has always been fair. The top people are very, very new. So the kind of positive findings about the Electoral Commission, like um, the, they are fair to all the parties, I want to say that the test has not yet come. The real test of trust in the EC, of its fairness, is when we go for presidential and parliamentary elections. We need to look at the, the institution itself and its ability to deliver on its mandate, and for me that is uh, critical. And over the period, uh, the institution has been able to deliver on its mandate. If you look at the percentage points in terms of whether 2016 elections was credible or not, or was seen as free and fair, we are recording about 86 percent. And that has been done in uh, 2019 when the election had been done in 2016. So it tells you that the institution itself has that credibi uh, credibility and is seen as, by citizens as very, very independent. The CDD Afrobarometer survey had a sample size of 2,400 people across the country from September 16 to October 3. 